Hi everybody, it's Ben from X Geeks, and today we'll be playing Barrow Hill Dark Path. Um, been excited to play this for a while now. Um, I played the original Barrow Hill game probably about five or six years ago. Um, it was a direct download from the Shadow Tour website. I just finished playing uh, Jonathan Boke's The Lost Crown, and then I got into his Dark Four games, and then just kind of the whole kind of world and the games of. Dark and Room and Shadow Tour, one of them being Barrow Hill, really enjoyed it, it was really fascinating, point and click horror adventure, just my kind of game, absolutely loved it. So this is the sequel, it came out last year, um, so it has took me a bit of a while to uh, get around to playing it, but you know, I'm going to make up for last time now. I will put the game description in the description below, so you can check that out, but I will just read um, the kind of this little, little brief about the game. It has been 10 years since the Barrow Hill incident, a terrible unsolved mystery. When several people lost their lives through the force inside the hill, no one knows what really happened except you. Something to do with an ancient standing stones, the old druid circle. It was built by pagans millennia ago, for purposes that we can only guess at, until now. It is the autumn equinox, when day and night are equal, exactly as they were a decade ago. You have returned to the scene of the crime seeking answers. Could such an event happen again? What trials and offerings await? As you leave the car behind and step into the dark world of the old woods, you wonder whether you seek the truth or are following the dark path. So that's a nice little bit of background. Um, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna stop talking now and go straight into the game. You're listening to Emma Harry on BHR. I appreciate games that, you know, don't use cutscenes like that. The autumn is with that. us once again, a powerful night in the pagan calendar. I like the real filmed kind of style. It's been ten years since the event at Barrow Hill. Many people lost their lives that night. I saw things. Things that shouldn't exist in our modern world. An ancient power disturbed after thousands of years. Yet the cover-up continues, and those now gone are labelled as missing. The so-called inquest was a smokescreen. Industrial accident at the service station. I don't buy it, neither should you. The grieving families deserve answers. They need answers. There are those, like me, seeking the truth, seeking answers. If you're still out there, keep looking, keep searching. Fabulous Barrow Hill Radio 15.3, broadcasting from Barrow Hill, Cornwall, England. Okay. Harvest celebrations are in full swing this equinox evening. Down by the harbour they are celebrating, launching sky lanterns, folk singing on the quay. Witchwood are celebrating, holding a bonfire and barbecue on the village green and scoffing hot baked potatoes. Mine's are cheese and beans, guys. If anybody <laughs> fancies popping by, I'm sick of eating these duck noodles, wildfowl, or just bow. Whatever you're doing, however you're celebrating the change in the season, stay safe and have fun. This is Barrow Hill Radio playing a fabulous classic mix of central jazz, creamy beats, and retro sounds. Yeah, not about the jazz, so we'll uh, leave the car there. Uh, let's just have a look around us. That's a great bit of driving and parking there. The hour. Uh, got anything that we can take? Now the voice on the radio, um, 
the um, the actor's name is Emma Harry, and she voices Lucy Rubens in the um, Lost Crown games, and she was also in the original Barrow Hill, so she works closely with Darkling and Shadow Tour Studios, so it's always good to hear her voice. Um, right, it doesn't look like there's much we can do here, so let's... Oh. Let's answer it. Okay, so we've got our inventory down here. Got menu. So let's look at this little shrine. Oh, there's Jonathan Bokes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's from the original game. Oh, and the doggy. Oh. So it looks like we can't light any candles, guessing because we've got no matches. Uh, is anything hidden? No. Nope. Aha. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's a tad unnecessary. Let's try and light that candle. We'll pay our respects. Right, it doesn't appear to be much more that we can do here. Oh, someone's in. I'm sure we'll at some point. <laughs> Sin awful. Nice. That's funny. Uh can't continue on, so we'll have to go this way. Okay, let's have a look. The old woods are a rare example of unsupported Cornish woodland. Off the usual tourist trails and guides, the woods are a fine mix of. Let's not do that. Let's cancel that. Let's look at the sign. Uh, I'm not going to read all that, so I'll let you, you can pause it and if you want to read it. I'm just going to quickly glance over it. Barrowins. Oh, yes, thank you very much. I'll take it. <laughs> Again, that noise is a little tad unnecessary. But, oh, okay, so that's like a map. Okay, so we'll be here. And... Picnic area, got the stone circles there, got the fell tree, radio tower. Okay. Oh, that's handy. Okay. 
Okay. Well, it looks like we've got the matches, but we've got nothing to light. So we need to get the light somehow. I wonder if we go back to the car if there's on Barrow Hill Radio, this autumn equinox. Harvest celebrations are in full swing. Stay focused. Your clear cut judgment will Now we're talking. Um, I was thinking there's like a glove box or click anywhere back there. Oh, maybe not then, maybe the car's not the answer. that we need some no so there's definitely a way we can get in there but I'm not quite sure how Right, we can't select our phone. Because right, we've got a phone, so surely it would have like a, a torch on it, you'd think, but it doesn't seem like we can. Select it. So, free hugs. Oh, that's sinister, but <laughs> I just picked up on that. Free hugs this way. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't want to go around there after all. Yeah, I just can't quite figure out. Um, we've got to be missing something really obvious. Alright. Is there anything on the shrine that we can use? Okay. So is Aha. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, looks like we need a key or some sort of tool to get in there. And then colour again. My brother. He disappeared a few years back. People say he's probably dead, but I want to know what happened to Ben. What? <laughs> I, I'm I here. just wanted <laughs> That's weird. I have to know. I need to learn more. Okay, didn't realise I'd be in the game. Uh, got a vent. If was playing Deus Ex, that could be a good way of getting in. Ooh, look at that symbol. Like an hourglass. Alright, looks like we need a tool or a handle. Looks like we can't get in that way either. Ooh, too dark. Don't like the looks of that. But we can't go any. Oh, 
look at that light there. I uh, can't seem to go any... F oh no, it's the same that way. Yeah, nothing creepy about that at all. Alright, so it's got our first puzzle, so it's layered. So that's on top, that one, and that one. Slingshot. Okay, is there anything else? Nope. Music's nice. Right, so that's locked. So everything's locked, so we do need some kind of key or tool. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, idiot. Oh, okay. Aha! So that would be for the utility point around the corner. Can we read any of this stuff? No, it doesn't look like it. Is there anything else? Oh. Gus, Ollie, me. We are being hunted. Please, can you get me out of here? You could guide me out of the woods. I feel a bit safer already. I, I want to see my brother one last time. I created a pentacle, made the offerings. It should have worked. I have to know. The dark path. It was supposed to help. Yes, I can see the old tractor. I must be near the old farm. No, I've seen that on the map. So maybe that's where we need to go. Back at the coin. Ba ba back in trouble. It's close. It's coming for me. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here, uh, I think it's a good place to end it, we've got the key, um, and when we come back we'll probably see if we can use that key on the electrical box or if we need to, I've just got a feeling we need to go through there, I've got a feeling we need to kind of get to where, get to the farm and try and, try and see if we can help her out. So yep, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, remember to like and subscribe and we're back with part two very very soon. Okay, take care.